Bonnie's welcome in Niagara at home tonight. Early on it was Jenkins hitting a three from the top of the key. Then it was Dixon weaving her way through the lane, and getting the layup to go. Then it was Jenkins again from three. Here it's Elena Walker spinning in the lane, getting two of her career high 14 on the night. And then it's Ortega with a fadeaway jumper. And then it's Dixon finding Boker on the wing for three to end the half, giving the Bonnies a nine point lead heading into the break. Here in the second half, we're going to see some great ballman by the Bonnies. Horton's going to drive the lane, find Walker. Walker will drive the baseline, find Boker. Boker will then drive the lane again, find Horton, who takes one dribble, pulls up, and gets the two to go. It was all Bonnies from here as you see Jenkins sneak into the lane, get the scoop layup to go. And then it's Horton driving the baseline strong, up faking, getting the two to go. And here it's Boker, one more three on the night. Bonnie's cap off a of victory, 63 to 49. I gotta give Niagara a lot of credit. That was uh, that was a really good game for us. I thought they executed very well and put a lot of pressure on our defense to have to rotate and communicate, and uh, took advantage of when we didn't do that. Um, that being said, I, I thought we obviously did a few good things. I thought we shot the ball pretty well. We took care of the ball. Uh, I, I really didn't like our effort. Uh, we didn't get to the offensive glass like we're capable. Um, I, I thought we gave up a, a, a number of easier shots than we should have because of communication or, or you know, kind of effort. But again, I want to give credit to Niagara. They, they did a really good job putting that pressure on us. Jim, you, you talk about you know, you know, almost every press conference, you know, yeah. you're, you're mentioning her after, after every game. And just uh, again tonight, and especially with Meg out of the, out of the lineup, you know, it's what you see from her pretty much every, every game. Yeah, and, you know, as a, uh, one of the games, I made a point because she's doing so much. And, and a lot of today it showed up in the box score. Um, but there's still all the stuff that doesn't show up in the box score. And because she had to work so hard to get some scores because we needed them, uh, she didn't do the usual offensive rebounding, which she does terrifically. Um, but again, you know, three assists, no turnovers. She's taking care of the ball. She's making good decisions. And she defends really, really well. And, and just she gets us going on both ends. And, and, you know, she keeps doing that. She's getting better every day. She keeps doing that and expanding what she can do. It's obviously going to help us as the season goes on. Um, you touched on taking care of the ball. You only turned it over six times to 16 for Niagara. What do you credit for that kind of? Well, I mean, obviously that's always an emphasis for us. We we want to take care of the ball, and uh, you know, I we had I think three in the first five or six minutes. Um, so uh, you know, I, I think it's a lot of things. I think we have a good familiarity with one of these kids that played together a lot. You know, obviously it's a it's a point of pride for us. It's something we emphasize. So. Uh, I think it's more just that kind of familiarity and, and emphasis on it. Um, it was uh, you scored a 37 in the first half, which is I think three less than your best on the season. Um, do you like that kind of pace? I don't mind it. You know, I think uh, we've got kind of a reputation as a slowdown team, and uh, I, you know, I, I, I just think we take good shots. And some people consider that slowdown. I consider it that we take good shots, and we got good shots earlier, um, and and we were able to to convert on some of those and. Um, you know, we always want to have good pace and tempo, and I thought we did that. That was something I thought we did pretty well consistently. Uh, and before the game, you uh, said you were kind of worried about this being the end of finals and like tightness and stuff like that. Did, do you think that affected the game at all? Or? You know, I, you know, Sam, I gave up a while ago trying to figure out what goes on in their heads. Um, you know, we just stick to what we did and what we can do better, and, and we know uh, that we did some good things, but we know we have to do some things better as we move forward. Um, Elena, you put up a career high for points. What worked well for you offensively? Um, probably just doing what I do best, which is driving, attacking the basket. And um, I, I was able to get there. And they weren't really stopping me. And when they did, I was able to find open teammates. Elena, did you, not, not pressure, but you know, with, with Megan out, did, did you look to maybe score more tonight than, than normal? Or was it the same as, as, as always out there? Oh, it's probably the same as always. Mm -hmm. Today they just, you know, the, the shots were falling. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they don't fall, but today they were falling. Um, Elena, Coach had talked about how, um, like, all the players kind of take pride in winning these big four games. Do you, do you uh, I mean, since Bonaventure hasn't lost a big four game since 2006, do you, do you see that, see it that way? Do you take pride in playing these kind of games? Yeah, I take, well, I take pride in playing every team that we yeah. play. It's, it's very, especially with me and more defensive mindset, and you know, then offense comes second. But um, 
don't know how else to put it. <laughs> Alina, can you talk about that defensive mindset that, that you have? I mean, obviously you had a career high today in points, but but defense and you're often guarding the, the best player on best offensive player on, on the other team. And you know, just talk about what your mentality is and, on, on defense. Um, probably set the tone for my teammates to follow because um, I know if I if I come out and don't set the tone, then we're all off off page. And um, I find it one of my responsibilities is to set the tone on defense, and that's what I do best, and I take that role very serious. Uh -huh. Were there times, I mean, obviously Niagara did some, some things well tonight, but defensively, did, did you feel that there was a little bit something, as collectively as a unit, there was a little something a little off at certain points tonight, or? Um, probably miscommunications on some on some some points in the game, but um, at times we were able to fix it and cover up for another, which is what we do best. Jim, 33 minutes, 20 missed shots, no offensive rebounds. Is that how much of that was Megan not being around? Yeah, I think she's she's pretty good at it. Obviously, and gets some of it. Uh, as I said earlier, I think you know Elena's really good at it, but she she was driving to the basket more to finish in, in this scenario. Um, you know, we we just we took the 13 threes, but a lot of stuff wasn't. Uh, jumpers. We took a lot of layups that we missed or shots on pulls that we missed. So, um, you know, we have some kids who are much better at offensive rebounding than they showed today. Um, so, I, I, you know, it's certainly not something we're going to go crazy about, but it, it's something, it's good to have an experienced team. They know what they don't do well and they usually fix it okay. I, I assume if, if you really had needed it, maybe Megan could have played. I, you know, she she went through one offs, and the deal was we go through one, we see how she felt, and she uh, she said it. She didn't feel one hundred percent, so that was all I needed to hear. Say no. Um, so if, if she if she had said yeah, I'm one hundred percent, then we would have considered it. But does she have a concussion? Do you think? Or? Uh, you know, I, I, they, you, you got to kind of treat all of them as right. they are. Yeah, oh, sure. So um, you know, we're we're guarded, but she feels a ton better. You know, she was able to do a lot today. Um, so, you know, we're hopeful that she gets a good night's rest and, and feels good tomorrow and uh, we can use her on Sunday because we can use her on Sunday. Uh, that's a, almost seems like kind of a, maybe a trap game. No students around, NFL Sunday, Christmas time. Is that, uh, is that kind uh, of I, I would, dynamic that worries no, I mean, you? I would hope not. The, the, we're playing one of the best teams in the country um, and who we've been lucky to be successful right. against who we know has had eight days off. And he's going to come in here rip roaring, especially because they had a poor game their last game out, and they're one of the best coaches in America. So, um, if 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 our kids are trapped, they're not the kids I think they are. Um, you know, they they embrace competition and they they want to play the the best teams, and you know, Maris one of the best on our schedule. So, you can't get a vote yet. Obviously, Duquesne finally got one, but 27 RPI is pretty. Yeah, you know, and uh, we just want to take care of what we can. And, and for us, it's it's you know stressing what we do every day and, and carrying that over and you know if those things happen, great. Um, but we don't want to worry about them and we don't want to get caught up in them because then you start to put pressure on yourself and you start to worry about disappointing and those kind of things. And um, you know we want to make sure that we above all enjoy doing what we do and, and don't get tightened up. Without Megan, do you see this as a good victory? They're all good, Chuck. We, in my history, we've lost a lot. <laughs> so any sure. victory is a good victory. Sure. We had some kids here who, uh, you know, went through some tough times, and it means the world to me that they would still come back and, and want to be part of the program and meet the, the current players. And so, you know, any victory is a good victory. I, I'm proud that our kids found a way to get it done, um, but they know that, that we weren't where we expect to be with some things, and, and they'll be ready to fix that for Sunday. Anything else? Thank you, guys.